What is up, Stockton, California? I'm your girl, Carolita, and we are in the building with Ralph White. Do you go by Ralph Lee White or just White? Ralph White? Just Ralph White. Ralph White. Yeah. How are you doing today? Real good. Real good. Are you excited to be running for District 6 right now? I've ran for it so many times. It yeah. was District 9, and then mm-hmm. they uh, divided up the districts to get me off, so therefore they split it. So now mm-hmm. I have District 6 and a lot, a lot of the District 9. When I was there, we had nine councilmatic districts. Mm-hmm. I served for 16 and a half years. Longer than anybody ever served on the council in Stockton. Right. And you're rerunning again. What What's making you rerun? Well, because if you <laughs> drive down the streets now, mm-hmm. and it, it's, I mean, you got in South Stockton, now potholes everywhere. Mm-hmm. In downtown Stockton, we don't have a downtown Stockton no more. Right. That was because when I went off the council, the code enforcement, they just shut all that down. That's where a lot of the rooms they they probably put about five six hundred people or maybe more on the street because a lot of people's own fixed income mm-hmm. at, uh, like five hundred and some dollars social security six hundred dollars a month and that type of stuff where they going to live at that and downtown in those hotels that used to be up over all of the businesses down there's what helped pay the bills on the businesses and they was making money off the hotels and the rooms up over the, the businesses and uh, when they shut that down, and I mean, they went from building to building, shutting them down. Well, they built, they shut down those apartments. Oh, they they shut out almost every building downtown was shut down because of code enforcement. Mm. And they was overdoing. You know, Penny's used to be downtown. Sears used to be downtown. All those come, they used to be downtown Stockton. And oh, um, I didn't know that. Yeah, it was, that was all downtown Stockton. But now, what do you have? Schools after six o'clock, after five o'clock. Town is shut down. You don't have nothing open downtown. I think you have one Mexican restaurant. The pizza place, I believe, is in, still open. In downtown Stockton, mm-hmm. of all the places, you know, I think the pizza place is on Weber Street and uh, uh, yeah. Southern. That used to be uh, a, a wall, uh, not Walgreen, but we're, uh, Newberry's back in the days. But isn't the movie theaters and the, well, the movie, restaurants right there open? That's on the other side, but that's not from right downtown would be the central part of downtown mm-hmm. where we have the courthouse and all that. All those buildings back there, and every lot had a building on it, including that's where the um, uh, bus station is now. Mm-hmm. You know That used to all be uh, buildings and everything, but now you don't have anything. You have clothing stores. You must have had Barbara McKeegan's. You must have had about... Birds, you must have about 10 uh, clothing stores, and those was high-end clothing stores for men. Then you had the women, and then you had uh, cresses and places like that used to be downtown. Mm-hmm. But uh, when code enforcement got to shutting everything down, because all the buildings are old. It was built like in, back in the 18, 1800s, some of them in the 1900s. So, I mean, quite naturally, they all they got problems of some kind. And then you want to start calling... Uh, people's landlords and slumlords and that type of stuff. But I remember an old man telling me one time, said, Mr. White, get a brand new house for a dog and build the dog a brand new house and watch him tear it up. So it's not the dog, it's not the house, it's the dog that lives in the house to tear up the house. So that's why you don't call people the slumlords because they're not overcharging people. And people have a problem right now. We have the biggest problem that we could solve at one time at the fairground, I wanted to take all the race house, the houses back there where the race house, the race horses were. The houses behind there. No, the the stables where they had the horses. Mm-hmm. They're the size of a bedroom, a good bedroom. Mm-hmm. They're like twelve by ten, twelve by twelve. The jockeys stay at the end of each one of those buildings, and they had them A through X, A through Y buildings was one to A B C D and all that was a building. Each building hold about forty two people. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, forty two people in each building. At the end of the building is where the jockeys stay when they come. They're real nice. The rooms are very nice. You could take that. And uh, um, my proposal to the state offered them $1,800 a month to rent it, just to redo it and get everything fixed so I get some of these people off the street in Stockton. But the governor and some other people thought, well, not right now and that type of stuff. So I know why they didn't want to do it, you know. Why didn't they want to do it? Because I was black, and I come with a hell of an idea. Mm-hmm. You gonna get you gonna get nineteen hundred people off the street, mm-hmm. and put them in that and redo the floors, make everything where the horses be. You redo all that with cement and all that. Have your air conditioning, heating, you know, central heating in 
and air and everything. I had those plans to, to do it, and that would take 1,900 people off the street. And then I would have two of the buildings I would have uh, uh, for people like drug addiction and, and alcoholics. And so they'd have the uh, alcohol anonymity three, four times a day in their classes. Then have the people that had a mental problem. I had three buildings for mental people that had a, you know, a little mental problem. Some everybody have a mirror down and have their private breakdown. But then you'd have someone to give them their medicine, make sure they take their medicine every day. Mm-hmm. And then they had uh, three meals a day, and uh, that was all my. I mean, it was a great idea. And then I had a few people that was interested in putting it in. But to start it off, I was going to do it with my money. With the first uh, 10, 10 buildings, I was going to do it out of my pocket. Then I had some other people who would invest in the other buildings because we wanted to get these people off the street. Now, the biggest thing right now, if you really want to get them off, if California, go get dual institution. That prison isn't shut down. Go out there and make housing. That people would love to be in there than be up under the bridge somewhere and but sleeping when they, out in those little tents. But there's nothing close to the jail. So it don't have to be nothing close to jail. You how would they get their on. food? And you, but it's going to be in the jail. How did the prison get theirs? But wouldn't you want to eat outside of? If you want to get, if you want to eat outside, you have transportation that will take them in and out from there. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got that's millions of dollars that the government spend right now, putting people up in these little hotels, hundred and twenty five dollars a day, mm-hmm. run that time thirty, then run that thirty time twelve, and see what you come up with. Time thirty was well, going to be. Almost, uh, almost four thousand mm-hmm. dollars a month for a person to stay there, and sometimes the kids is in the shelters. And you got kids, boys over here, and girls, and over here you got the men. And then you got another one for the women. That's a, and they can hold part of a family, but it's too small for a family. Right. But if you go to that prison, you look how many people used to be in that prison. You almost wiped the whole thing out in the state of California. It's the homeless. Because they would be right there, and they have all that stuff, that uh, the food, you have cafeteria, they would they can eat three meals a day. Uh, and they would bust them to work and all that? If they go to, if they want to go to work, yes. You definitely more from, uh, take them, bring them to the closest bus uh, thing to catch it and uh, bring them from the prison. Mm. You know, give some people a job, taking them to and from prison, you'll get them off the street. It's cold out there at nighttime, 3 or 4 it o'clock is. in the morning, and you're a little bit in a little tent. And you got three or four kids in a tent. Mm-hmm. That's sad, you know. That's sad. I know for a fact because I've been involved in that many years. And when it first started piling up, mm-hmm. now it's so you're bringing all these people in here in America now, all slipping in and getting them from Canada, Mexico, whatever, because they have problems in the country they come from. Mm-hmm. So when they come here, where are they gonna stay? You're not building enough houses. Not. We used to do a hundred. We used to do almost a hundred houses a week in Stockton, mm-hmm. and now we're down to what a hundred a, a, a year. Right. You know, it's we're really not bad. Building. It's really bad. But th- I feel like, <laughs> to me, they're doing that to get profit because mm-hmm. they can sell the houses for more. Well, no, that's not to get profit. There's a demand for them. No, why they do so little houses? No, no, you it's don't a think demand. So? No, you don't have no developers because of all your. Uh, uh, Permits is cost you um, having your checks, uh, your uh, uh, housings checks, and the people the you don't have enough people to come out and check like we used to have when mm-hmm. I was on the council. But yeah. you have a different council now. Yeah. You know, don't have nobody on the council as a business person, not one person. How mm-hmm. you going to run a multi billion dollar corporation and your biggest uh, 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 budget is probably $25,000 a year? Right. So how do you run one that's uh, you got people making more than the governor of the state of California? Your city manager make more than the governor. Your your city attorney make more than the uh, uh, attorney, the state attorney general. In city Stockton? attorney in Stockton, yes. Your secretary, mm. the secretary, secretary of Stockton make more than the secretary of the state of California. Why is that? Why is that? Because mm-hmm. look who you have up there on the council, and it's all over the state. Mm-hmm. On the council, you have a bunch of what? Uh, people that not business wise, housewives and all that. And it's not to say all of them are maxed out in their credit card. Even right now, their credit cards is maxed out. So you have a bunch of people up there, and you wind and down them. You get it. So when I was on the council, it didn't work that way. And I was there sixteen and a half years. And when I was there, we had doctors, 
uh, on Denver Hospital. We had that family doctor on that. We had lawyers. We had CPAs and that type of stuff, a CPA and a lawyer together. And then we had two more lawyers on that. Then we had accountants in there. So do you think they should lower the price that they're paying for the secretary and the city council? Um, I city? think it should be put. Stockton is a chartered city. Mm-hmm. And I think it should put be put on the ballot. With the ones that's there, is there. But if they ever move them, then the new one come in would make the same as the governor. No man should make more than the governor. The governor got, what, almost 40 some 41 million people in the state of California. Mm-hmm. And you probably have another four or five million uncounted that they haven't even put in the numbers. So you're looking at probably 46, uh, 46 million people in the state of California. He have thousands of employees is up on him. Same thing with the secretary of the state all over the state. And uh, the same thing with your uh, uh, educational, that the person that's over the education uh, superintendent in Stockton make over two hundred some thousand dollars a month. That's way too She was still in too, wasn't she? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Almost all of them right. except the black one you had on there. The only reason why the black one doesn't sit in there because everybody watching it. Right. See, we get watched and other people be giving <laughs> out contracts to their friends and all that stuff. So you ran for um, city council before. You ran for, uh, well, District 9, now it's District 6. I was the first black to be elected mm-hmm. to the in city Stockton? council. Uh, I organized. Mm-hmm. It was citywide voting. Mm-hmm. And I got uh, supervisor Gary Wilder and several other uh, high figures because I was always involved in civil rights. And so I got them to put district voting on the ballot, and it passed. Mm-hmm. So then we was elected by district. The man that had my district, he had two houses. He had one over on, on Spring Street on uh, and then one out north, Huckins. He had two of them. So when uh, when I come in, I start questioning that stuff, he resigned. He resigned before I even got on the council. Now, when he resigned two two months before, in order to give this Mexican guy that was running against him that was going to run, to give him the edge of asking him to appoint him, and I told him no because he lived right down the street from him on Spring Street. So I asked the council not to make any appointments since we was close to having the election because it would give the other person an edge over each other, and I don't think that would be the proper thing to do. I don't even want the seat like that. I want to run for it like everybody else. So the council agreed not to uh, uh, let anybody on the council. Then we had an election with Jesse Neighbors and I. Jesse was black from District 6, and I was from District 9, which is about something in District 6, and uh, I was able to get elected at the same time, but I was appointed. Uh, the mayor come and told me, said, Mr. White, said, you know you're already elected. So go and get, you You get, tell them, put up the $5,000 for your insurance, and you ask them to appoint you Monday. He said, you got the votes on the council to do it, because, you know, I always was involved in politics mm-hmm. almost uh, ever since I was 19 years old. So involved in politics that long and working in different campaigns and all that. The first person I worked in a campaign was when Willie Brown got me to come down, and he was trying to get an assemblyman, Ernie Lacoste, uh, uh, elected from this district. It was open, and we got him elected. He had Modesto and part of South Stockton. Mm. So we walked around. We went door to door. I said, Willie is from Dallas, Texas. We're from the same town. And uh, matter of fact, he used to live where we used to go and play football all the time. So Willie is a... Uh, Few years on, older, with another few on top of that. <laughs> then I, <laughs> what is about eighty? I said was about eighty nine, right now eighty six. But uh, who's he's the most powerful black in the state in the United States at one time, because he was the speaker of the house for the state of California. The state of California have always had more money than any other state in the United States right. other than New York. Yeah, um, you have ran for politics in the past, like we just went over. Do you think Stockton is? Res- you said that you're more qualified than the other candidates because you have your politics that you have done in the past. Do you think Stockton is receptive for that, or do you think they're uh, wanting to change? Uh, I don't think they're running to change. They're running because people don't know what the hell they're doing. Mm-hmm. You don't have a one, two candidates that's running with some experience, right? and that's Kimberly Wormsley. Mm-hmm. She was four years on the uh, planning commission, four years as a councilman. Mm-hmm. You know, The only one that could come almost close to me, like, one from elementary to high school would be Kimberly one, mm-hmm. and uh, the rest of the, can- the rest of the candidates never. Oh, one other one is um, Anthony Silva is running over in District Two now. Oh yeah, he's well he's qualified because yeah. he was the mayor, 
and that type of stuff for uh, two terms, I think. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, the rest of them have n- never had no experience. What experience have uh, Jason Lee had? He's 47 years old, never voted mm-hmm. in his life. And he's ju- never voted? Never voted in his life. Just registered to vote mm-hmm. on November. No, yeah, November the 26th. Mm-hmm. Couldn't file his papers until November the twenty uh, November uh, no to D, no no he got arrested October the twenty sixth he couldn't file his papers until November the twenty seventh because the twenty sixth was on the on a Sunday so you mm-hmm. have to be in a resident for at least thirty days mm-hmm. so he come in and he filed for that but prior to that he didn't even live in Stockton right and but not, he's he voted in different cities hasn't no. he. He was in L.A. where you asked him, said, I'll tell you where he voted at. Uh-huh. Now, you know, I already did my homework. I checked mm-hmm. that out. He never voted. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, but he got upset. Like, uh, well, they wanted to get rid of um, uh, our city manager, Black, who mm-hmm. is Black. Okay. Right. They want to get rid of him, and that's what they're doing right now. Every mm-hmm. district got somebody running to get rid of him. Because he's getting paid Including too much. one of the mayors, pardon because he's getting paid too much? No, because no. he's the smartest one we ever had, and he's black. Mm-hmm. The last one we had was black. I got the first one appointed. Mm-hmm. He didn't want to. He didn't even put his name in, but the city manager, they went to the uh, uh, city attorney or mm-hmm. some of the other ones. When you come to find out that they were looking at a black man that was the assistant city manager at that time, and they thought he didn't even put his name in because they, so they went to him, and they talked. Uh, 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 didn't want him to put his name in. He didn't because, you know, he didn't want to get fired because whoever come in, the new manager come in, picks his own people. Yes, sir, at will employee. Mm-hmm. So he let him go or whatever. Well, I talked him in the stand. His, uh, uh, and I talked to Anthony. They didn't, they didn't care much for the person that Anthony Civil was bringing in because it was a Mexican for another place. And this, a- Anthony is, is Portuguese, but people think he's Mexican. But anyway... They didn't want that city manager. When he came, they brought him here in the Stockton record, tore him up. So the man, uh, they found out at his home that he was coming to Stockton. They gave him a $20,000 raise. So he said, no, he'd rather stay where he's at. You know, he's making $20,000 more than what he was making up here in Stockton. And uh, he decided to stay there, and he's still there now. But Where's had, that at? Pardon? Where's that at? Uh, I think it's in Chuli Vesta someplace, some down oh. south. Well, so didn't the city... Um, didn't he manager come from a different state? No, which one? The one we have now? Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. He came from uh, Cincinnati. That's a right. big city. Mm-hmm. Okay, and he is. I served on the council. I fired two city managers, mm-hmm. and uh, with my with my friend, but I fired him because he made a statement, a racist statement, mm-hmm. on the bus. And you know, white people think sometimes ain't nobody gonna say nothing about him because they white, you white. So we can say certain things that we want to say about somebody. Mm-hmm. And the uh, city manager got on the bus and said he was running late because they was going to take all the, the developers all over Stockton for new development and everything at, except Western Ranch. They didn't bring them out there because this mm-hmm. is the southern part of the city. So um, they was taking him around. But when he got there, he was like 10 minutes late or something. So they were sitting there waiting on him. And someone, the guy told me, somebody said, well, it's about time. And he says, well, that's all right. I guess I'll sit where Ralph White would have to sit on the bus, which means the back of the bus, like in the South. And everybody, you know, a few of them left, but a few of them didn't like, didn't like what he said. Mm-hmm. You see, all white folks ain't prejudiced. Right. You know, and uh, uh, so I could get along with anybody. And mm-hmm. That's why I was able to become the vice mayor in 11 months on the council, first time it had been done. Mm-hmm. And a black person, too, being vice mayor of this city. And that's why it used to be known as Mississippi West. I mean, uh, yeah, Mississippi West back in the day. But I was the first one. In, at that time, you had to be elected by your colleague, okay, to serve. So you had to get five votes to be vice mayor. They never mm-hmm. heard of it. I put five votes together. When got ready to vote, I got them. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I became the first and the youngest mayor, vice mm-hmm. mayor, in the state of California. Um, what are you planning on doing for South Stockton? Like, what is your plan? God, it's so much. I had over fifty-five, fifty-eight million dollars spent in District Nine. Mm-hmm. The second year I was on the council, we started the program uh, redoing uh, over in South Stockton, Southeast Stockton, on, on Airport Way and that way. You used to have streets 
that on the side of them, they had ditches on the side of them, and the street was only so wide. Two cars coming. If you walk, you got to jump in the ditch and jump on the other side of the ditch. Mm-hmm. And the ditch run to somebody else's house, then you got to be able to get back over. Well, I got all that taken care of. My third, second year on the council, we started working on that because I was able to get the votes from the council because we had some votes, uh, the money. Jesse Neighbors had <coughs> twenty two thousand dollars, twenty two two million. Mm-hmm. I had thirty, I had thirty something million. In order to do my whole project, I need fifty eight million dollars. So I borrowed two million from Jesse and Jesse's neighbors. They was gonna do some. They had some curves and gutters in the bad part. Cause it's south side. So Jesse Neighbors, I borrowed the money from his district to finish up my project. When I finished up my project, they was giving Jesse some more money. So I gave him his thirty thousand, thirty million dollars back. And uh, that's how we got. That was that part. And that was Jesse and I. I got all that done back there. His so what are you? What are you planning on doing? When no, you, when you win, if you win. If I win, I want to finish these streets. We got bad streets in South mm-hmm. Stockton. You drive around some street over there, concrete, raising the uh, trees, uh, raising up the concrete sidewalks. We have uh, uh, streets that's got wooden streets in them on curves. And the wooden curves back when, when they had horses and buggies. Mm-hmm. And that's over on Sierra Nevada and a couple other off of Jackson Street and that stuff. That's all that have to be taken care of, which is still outside of my district, but it's part of the city. South Stockton should look like North nah, nah, Stockton with its sidewalk curves and gutters. Right. The houses might not can, but see, everybody pay the same amount of taxes on the size of the house and the value when they come and change the structure, the mm-hmm. value of the house. You pay your taxes. I don't care where you live. And as I've always said all the time, do you think your feet know where you're at right now? No, your head do. Mm-hmm. Your head, the, your head tell your feet which way to take them. Your feet start hurting. It tell you I need an aspirin. You go get an aspirin for your feet. Right. So it send message to the head, and the head is the um, is like that computer. It's got everything in it. Mm-hmm. Um, are you planning on doing anything about the safety? Well, in the, South Stockton. Well, you see that right there. What mm-hmm. it says. I guess you saw that. Yes, I would definitely not only in South Stockton and all of Stockton. I hate black on black crime with a passion. Mm-hmm. And I mean, that's all these different gangs and all that type of stuff. It's like uh, 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 Jason Lee said, uh, well, uh, I'm dating a, I'm dating a crip on one of his little pot thing that he have on the show. Mm-hmm. He told the girl he's living in the crip. Well, what about the Bloods? What about the North Angels and the uh, 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 Aaron Brotherhood? I mean, these people are going to be, that's a problem. You got a, uh, you got a crip sitting in the uh, a Crips boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever he is, but you got him sitting on the council and something mm-hmm. come up there, you probably have Crips up there every week. Bloods couldn't come there or whatever if they got into a problem with each other. I don't like that. I don't is think it we like should that have any anymore? games. Uh, yeah. I don't you know. know. I'm not in the street. I don't yes, know. That's, what do you think all this killing and stuff is about? I don't know. The only Crips and Bloods I know is YG and Snoop Dogg. <laughs> and they get along pretty well. <laughs> yeah, but- Look at the money they got, too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all of them was one, but look how much money they got. But they changed their way of living and went, in, and went in another direction. But here you still have those little pocket of people's mind is not right and fully developed enough not to be part of a gang. Mm-hmm. Hey, gangs, I'm, I'm, like I've said, too, uh, and I'll ask you the same thing. In the last 10 years, how many black people do you think can kill another black? 15,000? I, I don't think it has anything to do with... Oh, yes. No, you didn't let me finish. Why do you think? Black people in the last 10 to 15 years, mm-hmm. we've killed over 15,000, 20,000 people because Chicago alone do five a year. So that's in, five, in 10 years, that's 5,000. Now, we ain't got the Philadelphia and New York. And, and so, uh, but uh, now how many black people have you read or heard about through a rock at a white boy? No, but Zimmerman you, needs one. You don't throw your <laughs> rocks. You don't throw the master's son, grandson. You don't throw no rock after. And the other one is his great great grandson might be uh, daddy might be one of the clansmen in that group. See, slavery was dangerous, mm-hmm. you know. But just the problem is there is, you know, one thing is when people say they see these type of uh, game related things, which I know a lot of it going in Stockton. Mm-hmm. And one way to stop it is put a bounty on them like they do in the, in the thing. Because, see, a black person tell you, well, I ain't snitching. I ain't telling on nobody. You know, well, I understand. Uh, how about $10,000? Uh, 
Man, I ain't giving up nobody. Okay, then. How about $25,000? Well, he lived right down the street on the corner, the second house from the... <laughs> right. <laughs> and I saw him when he shot him. <laughs> and matter of fact, the month, the gun he had is upstairs in his grandmama's house in the attic. Police go get it? $25,000. Now, you think about it. $25,000 is a lot of money when you're... Mother just got an eviction notice, and your wallet just got turned off last night, and your PG&E been out sometime. Mm -hmm. Your two bicycles in the backyard is on the flat. Now, did you say $25,000? I'll take you where he is right now. I'll show you where he is. Right. <laughs> They'll give you up. But that is what I tried to get the council to do. The city manager got the council to appropriate over $600,000. Uh, $600,000 that you were trying, that you got approved. $600,000 he uh, they was going to give to Crime Stoppers, mm -hmm. uh, and they didn't want to take it. No. No, no because what's it going to do? Can, Can crimes, it? isn't that, wouldn't that be illegal? What? To pay for someone to. I don't know. I watched Roger Rogers, uh, uh, Roger Rogers and I watched uh, John Wayne, mm -hmm. and uh, your Brendan, and latest one I watched uh, was, um, what was the one that you went all across country? for the guy that had his wife, but he was a bounty hunter, a man trained to be a bounty hunter because he's looking for somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not illegal. You do that right now. They, they got a $10,000 reward right now. It used to be a But that's someone dollars. ditching out on bail, a bounty hunter finding someone ditching out on bail. No, no. I was a bail bomb, and I had a bail bond business from 1975 and still have it. Mm -hmm. but, but that's when the bounty hunter no, gets involved, isn't no, it? No, 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 no. no. You, you can have one mm -hmm. if you don't want to go get them yourself. I went all down in Denville, Kentucky. I went up to New York and bailed a guy out of jail that I had put a $40,000 bail on him, mm -hmm. and he jumped bail on him, but I heard they had him in jail in New York. I went up and bailed him out of jail, brought him back to California. <laughs> get off of my 50 to 40 right, get your Now that he's in there, New York had to wait for them to get rid of him in California, so he didn't jump bail mm -hmm. because he was arrested by another agent. So you have to know what you're doing upstairs when you're messing with bail bonds or anything mm -hmm. else. A bounty, if you look at any cowboy mo movie, mm -hmm. they have a $500,000 a a $500 bail or a $2,000 bail, dead or alive. But they go get him and bring him It's not him cowboy time, though. No, but it's the same. The bail is the same thing. And I have to be. I didn't say dead or alive. Mm -hmm. But bounty, yes. If you got a, you wouldn't you wouldn't call it the bounty hunter, but you'd put that price up there, and it is a bounty mm -hmm. on his head. You got a five thousand dollars bounty. Case in point, a uh, few months ago, you know when we had the serial killer. Yes. People were scared to go out at night, including you. Um, there were certain places you wouldn't go at nighttime. But the, what the, happened? Yeah. What happened is because his mother, they had somebody killed his mother when he was little, killing out his brother, his brother when he was little in Oakland. Yeah. And they brought that. him to his back door and threw him down in the front of his mother, and he was there too. Mm -hmm. And so I take this piece of SHIT and do something with it. You know what I mean? Because I guess he was beating my day money, some of my day money. So they killed him. So he had that hatred on something that it was that. That's why it was only Mexican that he killed. He mm. killed one black, but. When What's they put, when, now let me tell you what the city manager did. The city manager didn't have, he can spend up to $75,000 and he don't have to get no approval for the council. He took the $75,000 and put it up. A couple of other rich people in Stockton put up another 50000 made $125,000. They got him, didn't they? And they got him. But that's not the city doing it, though. Oh, that's yes, what, it was. He it put was up the, the first $75,000. I mean, you got to get the killer off the street. Because mm -hmm. how many more people do you think he would have killed now? And mm -hmm. the whole city was shut down, including I wouldn't go out at night. There are certain streets mm -hmm. I wouldn't go down. The cut, shortcuts I used to take, I wouldn't take them. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I wouldn't take them, what if he's around there shooting and shoot me? I'd right. go down the main streets. And everybody else was. A lot of people were scared to go out at nighttime. Mm -hmm. No, I wasn't. But That's since he go. put up that hundred and twenty, he put up that seventy five. Got the other people to put up fifty thousand, one hundred twenty five thousand dollars. They told on him real quick before he went out that night. There, the police already on him, mm -hmm. knowing what he was going to do. And they told him what he, they told him what he was going to do that night and where he was going to go. Police sitting out there waiting on him, and when they followed him, they got him with all this stuff on. So you know it had to be somebody close to told everything, right? Mm -hmm. One thing with a his mom. No, it wasn't his mom. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no, his mom. Wasn't his mom. You know who it was? Mm -hmm. What was it, his brother? 
<laughs> you getting in this family now. <laughs> 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 but anyway, it was somebody that, that told on that knew everything. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, one thing with a bounty, $25,000. Uh, you got a bounty, $25,000 because you killed somebody or you did something that was in happy being the killing part. $25,000 for some people that's rich. But I've never seen that much money in my right. life and never had it. But if you put that bounty on somebody, $25, you th- $25 you just got told on. Mm-hmm. $10,000, ah, no, man, I'm not no snitch. Uh, and a snitch is different. A snitch is someone that could make a crime with you and then tell on you if, if he get right. caught. That's why I always try to explain to people. Okay, they don't understand that because mm-hmm. they ain't been in that world. Mm-hmm. you know. So that's a snitch. But if you and I... If you if commit, if you commit a crime, and mm-hmm. I see you commit that crime, and you got twenty five thousand dollar reward on your head, you just got told on. I would have. <laughs> I always you wasn't with me. I don't need money. I'll tell. I'm not. I don't play those games. But, but you ain't playing no game. <laughs> I don't play those. Games. You ain't playing no game. It's a bounty <laughs> on you. You got to get them off the street before they kill right. somebody else. You know, it's a lot of people who kill three or four people before they call them. Police been looking for them for the long and couldn't get them. They heard about. The ten thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Got that ten thousand dollars. I know several people. Right, but do the police have enough um, enough workers to even do that? No, because no. there's not even enough police officers. Out well, there. The, uh, it's enough police officers, honey, to go and get you if you kill somebody. Right, you get, that's the part with twenty five thousand dollar reward. Mm-hmm. The twenty five thousand reward is if you tell on somebody within sixty days. This was my proposal. You get twenty five thousand dollars. If you tell on them after that sixty days, for the next sixty days, you get fifteen thousand, and then after that, it falls over to the crime stop. But there, are there even enough detectives with how many killings that there are That's in Stockton? The, that now you asking the right question. Mm-hmm. How many detectives you think you need when you got them a crime after crime after crime after crime? I feel like we need a lot, thousands of dollars, right. right? But if you got somebody telling on them as soon as they do it, mm-hmm. see that twenty five thousand dollars, you better not hit your girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And she know what you did? Hell, you just got told on. Right. <laughs> you better not get in a fight with somebody or something, and they know something. $25,000, you just got told on. Mm-hmm. And you know, anybody, you get you do something too, and they know something, they're going to tell on you because you got that twenty five. and they want that $25,000, they get you right away. Mm-hmm. $25,000 is a lot. It's a lot of money to, to a lot of people that's not even saying that. And you want $25,000 on the table? Mm-hmm. Mama's house just got uh, the eviction just got paid up. The water water just got cut on. PG and E is back on now. Mm-hmm. And you still got a thousand dollars. You still got five or six thousand dollars to buy your little hoop there car, and it's cold in the winter time. Mm-hmm. They would tell more in the winter time than in the summertime, right? Because it's cold. They don't want to mm-hmm. be outdoors. They don't want that you know sleep in no cold house. And but how would we stop? How would we stop the violence from going on? Well, you, you have to be on top of it. Back in mm-hmm. the days, I used to have what you call a youth center, Project Identity. Mm-hmm. Now, I know a lot of people, including Reverend Clayton, they met their girlfriend at my place, and they ended up getting married. Mm-hmm. They married to this day over 20-some years. But um, when I had a youth center, it was upstairs, and I had uh, Ray Charles' background to come. I had Little Richard's background girls to come to the place. I mm-hmm. had the Temptations people to come by, you know, some of them and the background people. I had that. And that gave kids somewhere to go every weekend. Back then, that was the north side and the south side was fighting with each other. Mm-hmm. The west side and boss track and the east side was fighting with each other. But so when I put, put it downtown, everybody could come. But once you come in, go upstairs, you can't go back out. Right. So anybody pick you, if you go back out, you ain't coming back in. So mm-hmm. that's over with. So nobody never wanted to leave. Once they get in and want to party, everybody was all right. I had two fights, and you know who the fights was. But no, it's three. Yeah. Girls. Mm-hmm. Then, <laughs> that was girls fighting, okay, mm-hmm. over some men, a boyfriend, whatever. But that, but they got put out, and they couldn't come back in anymore. One fight, you're out for good. Mm-hmm. Okay? A good argument will get you out for three or four weeks. But a fight and a threaten to do something, you out, you out for good. Are you so, planning on bringing the youth center back? Because there I, is stuff that needs to be done. If I would get on the city council, I definitely would do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, we got the money, we can do it. But you got to give these young people some place to go. Right. Stockton ain't got nothing for the young kids, mm-hmm. young people at all in all age. They really don't have nothing for you to do in Stockton right no. now. 
people go hang out at some bar no. or something. I'll go to a different city. Well, 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 that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Where it's live and everything. I feel but like see, if we did that in Stockton, mm-hmm. you would be right here because you know something is coming up next week right. or next month. Mm-hmm. Like I'm having on my birthday, you know, two years ago I had the Delphonics mm-hmm. and my birthday at my house. Last year I had the Temptations. This year on on the third of um, of uh, before my birthday for my birthday party and because the King Ball, I got the uh, Intruders coming. But that gives people something to do and somewhere to go. Other than that, where you going to go? Nowhere. You don't even have a band going nowhere. And How do you keep it safe, kinda... though? Because I know there was a, not a concert, maybe like a club with the, what, our local artists that came out, and mm-hmm. there was a shooting there. So how do we keep those things safe, and how do we keep the shootings from happening? I've had as many. Back a few, a few years ago, I used to have as many as eight, 900 kids in my skating ring, skating. Mm-hmm. I, these are adults, though. Oh, these yeah. were like 21. and. Oh, no, no, no. These are young kids all the way up to 21 or 22. Mm-hmm. But in my house, that's my house. Mm-hmm. You don't disrespect my house. You know, you're not going to fight nobody in the front of my house or on my street while I got something going. We don't do that. Mm-hmm. In my house, I've never had no fight in my house, none. But how do we keep that from happening throughout Stockton? Well, you have to, one thing is you do is you get, uh, let's say if it's a big function they got somewhere, mm-hmm. you make sure you got three or four or five co- po- police cars riding around. Because most police cars, a lot of them not doing nothing anyway, but somewhere hiding out on a, a cell phone or something. Mm-hmm. And so you just make sure that they come around and they sit over here for maybe 15 or 20 minutes. Another them come sit here 15 or 20 minutes and over here and around. People know the police out there, so they ain't going to do nothing. I don't think people are scared of the police anymore, they, though. They, honey, nobody wants to go to jail. Mm-hmm. A dog don't like no chain chain up, but he have to because his master got in that way. Right. I ain't never seen nobody say, let me go spend the weekend in the jail. Nobody wants to go to jail. No, but I think I feel like they think that they're going to get away with it. That's what that's what a bounty come in. You can't get away with it if you got a bounty on your head. Mm-hmm. So if you're going to violate the law, and if you get caught, you got to pay. If somebody going to tell on you, oh, man, I ain't going to do that. You know, hey, hey, let me out the car because I am not inviting no drive, drive-by because that's 25000 that Somebody going to tell, mm-hmm. and one of y'all might tell because you didn't shoot the gun. I did, so uh, I'm not going with you. Oh, I always tell all my friends, if you do something, don't do it in front of me. Because uh, <laughs> you're not a snitch, but you ain't going to do no time. I ain't going to yeah, do no time for nobody. nobody. You do something with me, you just got told on. Because yeah. I ain't did it. You did that, you better tell me. You get in my mm-hmm. car. You better tell me you got a gun. Right. Because if you don't, let me tell you get out of my car. But mm-hmm. if you don't, brother, I'm going to tell you you had the gun. It was sitting right over here. I'm going to run the whole story me down. Me too. Boy, I'm you, telling you how you got in my car and where from, where did you come from. No, that's human nature because I'm not ready to go to jail I'm for nobody. I'm not going to jail for nobody. But let's get back to our city council. Mm-hmm. The what council, makes you run? What What would be different from you being in on city council or one of the other ones? Run, one of the other people running? Nobody have the experience that I have. No one has the experience. You that the, uh, mm-hmm. uh, I had. I was the longest sitting councilman. I served sixteen and a half years. But what if nobody want never change? served that? What do they want to change to somebody that don't know nothing? That's mm-hmm. like going getting somebody elementary school mm-hmm. and putting them in college. Mm-hmm. That when you get up that level of dealing with millions of people's lives mm-hmm. and millions and, and, and millions of dollars, mm-hmm. I mean over half a billion dollars a year of the budget, you dealing with some money. And see, when right. I was there, what I did, I got I got over three thousand eight hundred seventeen people's jobs. But I don't think people know? think about that. Well, it's, you have to think about it. it's the history is there. Mm-hmm. It's not what you what do you want? Don't complain if you got somebody. Do you think I let somebody fly me in the airplane? And I, man, I, I'm, I'm we're going to yeah, but the pilot is not there. I fly you there. Have you ever had any experience in pilot? No, but they did that with Trump. He didn't have any back history about, and they voted him in. Well, you see how he lied. How many times a day did Trump die? Lie. Mm-hmm. And Trump is the worst, worst one we ever had. But he ran on that prejudice stuff. Mm-hmm. He didn't run. Well, I'm going to keep the Mexican from the United States. Mm-hmm. And if I'm president now, I'm going to put everybody out that's a. Uh, uh, that's not legal, and that type, that's what he's starting right now. That fear put in somebody's mind, mm-hmm. and you can't. I'm telling you, you can't take the prejudice out of some people. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like you can take uh, 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 somebody out of the south, but you can't take the mind out of the south that they come here wet until they stay here long enough to learn different. And that's the only thing. And we ain't never had a president that talk about 
uh, 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 prejudice like uh, Trump. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't vote for him for a dog catcher because I like dogs. Yeah. But <laughs> so, I, I mean, you think about it. Mm -hmm. But that's what happened. Look how he messed up. You know, they're talking about he loved Russia and all this. Look how much money he stole in his family. Look what they got away with so far. Mm -hmm. It's because they didn't know. And uh, Trump got in there because he had that that, that stoey uh, thing he had. And plus he was rich out of New York and all that type of stuff. People thought he had more money than what the government is showing us he have now mm -hmm. because he was a good liar. But when you take people that's never been in politics, staff been there for the last 20 years, they know everything. And you're going to bring somebody in there, run a game, run a circle on him. And I, don't, I think if I went to the council, with what we have sitting up there right now mm -hmm. and what we have running, oh, I could run a ring around them all together. I have them all voting with me like I did when I was on the council. Mm -hmm. I kept, I had blacks on every board and every commission. Now you might have two blacks on them. Mm -hmm. And we had 15 different boards and commission. All right. I had, uh, the police never shot nobody. Two people got killed by the police. The police, two guys, black people killed our chief of police son. They didn't beat him up. They didn't mess with him. I was on the council. Another guy, the police was beating him. He took his club from him and beat his name was White to death. Over on Sutter and Park Street, they took it and they they arrested him, but because the thing they had to face Ralph White if they did, you know, because our charter said the city council can investigate any department and any employee that they want to. Mm -hmm. So I had a, a, a five of four on the, on the council. I had five of us that was part of a committee that I set up to investigate any time a police do something that was out of, out of hand. We didn't have it. I named five parks in Stockton. All five of them was named after black people, and one, four of them was named after black, and one was named after um, a Mexican. Mm -hmm. All right? And, uh, and then I took one lady. I had one black lady put on the only person in Stockton that ever served on the board of directors on the bank, on the board of directors of a bank. You know why that was? Because the banks was getting all this money, and the council, we would divide up, 40 million, 50 million, whatever we're going to put in these different banks, all right? And this bank didn't have no black employees. He wants, they needed the money. They wanted it real bad because, you know, all banks have little problems too. They overexpend some. So that $40 million you can lend out, that's a lot of money. You can make a lot of money. So they want to know, you know, well, Ralph, we, we really need your support because I always had four or five people on the, vote, on the board that I could get to vote with me on almost anything. Will you be able to do that this time around? Most definitely. Mm -hmm. You know how many blacks we had on the police department when I went on the council? Five. You know how many we got now? Seven. Mm -hmm. When I left the city council, we had 38. Mm -hmm. You know how many firemen we have now? Mm -hmm. I asked the fire chief before he left. I got the first black fire chief appointed. Mm -hmm. when, I, when I went on the council, we didn't have no firemen. I was responsible for almost 18 firemen being, uh, being hired. And each one of them right now is making some good money, $10,000 a year. That's a lot of money, a month. $10,000 mm -hmm. a month to watch television and go on trips. That's a lot of money. They be, and you got, a lot of, you got a lot of blacks Don't they work that. hard? When? <laughs> what they do? Yeah, they work hard. You know what? They <laughs> sleep 24 hours and they work They work uh, uh, 24 hours and they all 48. Mm -hmm. Own 24 and 48. And on their 24, some of your uh, houses... The the, uh, the how many fires do you hear having in Stockton right now? Almost none. I you hear got, I see fires all the time. Uh, you, it's, it's, in yeah. Western Ranch, I see uh, fires all the yeah, time. Yeah, but that's because of those people over there, but not the houses. Because mm -hmm. you got all those sprinkles in there now. But I'll bet you'll see that coming and going over there. Mm -hmm. But that I guarantee you, if I'm on the council, you wouldn't see it. Mm -hmm. You tell me about two or three, and I know what to do. Hey, I know what to do. What would you do to clean up those fires? We clean up the fires to stop them from having them. Mm -hmm. You got to go to where all those campers are. Mm -hmm. And then you have to uh, uh, stop them from camping in that area. Like I said, if I get on the council mm -hmm. and I can take 1,900 people off the streets that's sleeping around everywhere, and the law say you can't tell them unless you have a place to carry them, you can't take them off the street. They can sleep on the courthouse step. Yeah. You know they just, why? They just cleaned up March Lane, getting from March Lane to They're right five. back out. You know what? You know why you can't do it? That's the state Supreme Court made that decision mm -hmm. because they're taxpayers. Mm -hmm. You said, no, they don't own no property. Not to buy some cigarettes, don't they? They buy yeah. a soda, don't they? Mm -hmm. They pay taxes, and the city get a portion of that tax. 
in the state. So you can't tell them they own part of that cement. I don't care if it's a one one inch. Mm-hmm. That you use yours is right next to that one inch. They can't move theirs without uh, you can't move theirs without moving them all. How how would we get? What would be your plan for homeless? Next. I just show you to put. The, I would get that fairground. The fairground. That'd be number one is to get mm-hmm. them a place to go. I would meet with the ju- with the governor, and we'll go out to out to uh, 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 duel and find out how many people we can put in from the state of California out there. If you can house thousands of prisoners, you can house thousands of people living there. Mm-hmm. I mean thousands, not hundreds. So we could almost eliminate uh, with all these different prisons and things and shut down. We could throw in those racetracks. We turn those in the house and uh, homeless for, uh, and thing like that. We eliminate a lot of uh, robbery. We we'll eliminate a lot of killing, mm-hmm. and then we'll eliminate a lot of kids starving to death and all that because they don't in, in the cold don't have no place to go. Mm-hmm. So you have to do that, and that's what I would do. I have a plan. Mm-hmm. Every time when I was on the council, like I said, I got more money spent in my district. Don't think, and I ran four times, five, one every time. And oh, okay, and I ran every, every time I ran, I won. And Just a couple a of times I ran, I won with less than seven hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, that's all. I just seven hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> in my district because that's how well like I was because I was producing in my area. Mm-hmm. And here, we're one hundred and fifty thousand. Uh, we're one hundred and fifty policemen short right now, right? You know what? And you know, and like I said, five blacks, I, said, I mean seven blacks, that's ridiculous. You go to these colleges and you recruit from the colleges and you're sure and you recruit. It don't take that long to some, check somebody's background. Mm-hmm. I remember one time when we had uh, civil service, uh, they was getting ready to appoint some fire, fire, firemen and, and some policemen. I went in to the meeting because I heard they had let washed out 17 blacks from being policemen with background checks. And the same thing with some firemen. I went in to sit in. I asked the uh, uh, chairman, which I have appointed. He used to be a fireman. I appointed him. He was one of the ones that appointed him. And um, I asked him, could I speak to everybody in there? Because the chief said, well, you know, a lie, Mr. White, if it's a little lie, because people's trust, and if it's a little lie, it's... The same as a lie. Mm-hmm. I said, any lie? He said, all of them. I don't care. There ain't no little lies and big lies. I said, that's right. All lies is a lie in God's eyesight. I said, how about the chief, the fire chief? Yes, well, that's it too, because you went in people's house and they trust in you with your life and all that. I said, okay, that's good. I said, so now you say everybody in here, if they told a little lie, then they lied. Right, chief? Yep. I said, okay. Uh, you mind if I ask them something? Said, go, go ahead on, Mr. White, councilman. I said, okay. How many of you? Have ever been stopped by the police by a sure hand? Everybody in there. Traffic stop, red light, your light's out, run a red light, uh, tail light is out or something. How many of you? Everybody in there. I said, now, how many of you had more than two tickets? Almost all of them again. Some of them dropped. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't care if it's for a tail light out or a license plate light out. You still get a ticket. I said, so how many? So now that we got, now I get down to the third, uh, and then I said, okay, that's good enough. Everybody in there did this at least twice. So I said, now, Chief, now, if you're stopped by a policeman, are you under arrest? Well, um, I said, for a taillight out or for speed, now, are you under arrest? Well, technically, I said, well, technically, yeah, the reason why I'm asking this, Chief, so that I can tell my people next time you tell, stop by the police, just get in your car and drive on off because you tell them you ain't got time to talk to them. And go home and tell them you'll see them tomorrow, give them an address, and you get your ticket next week or something. Oh, no, 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 no. I said, well, so if they don't stay there, if they want to just walk away, then what you can do? Uh, well, they technically, they're under, uh, I said, Chief, stop using technical. They're under arrest, aren't they? Well, yes. I said, so everybody in here has been under arrest at least two and three times, haven't they? So all of them lied, huh? Every one of them lied because they put on there they'd never been arrested. Ain't no technicality. You know what they did? Hmm. I got, I got, I had seventeen blacks. I got twelve of them back on there. <laughs> I had the firemen. I got nine of them. <laughs> so, well, cause the, the little lies is a lie. So mm-hmm. if I lie about, and then they was doing the credit check on what black folks don't have a problem with credit. 
And they was using that. All type of thing to use to keep from bringing a black hole. I stopped that. Mm -hmm. The whole time I was, when I was there, they were scared to do it. Okay. So we're going to get right back into um, what are your hopes for District 6? Well, as I said before, I would like to make sure that we get more blacks on the police department, mm -hmm. more blacks on the fire department than we don't have any. The last fire chief told me, I asked him one day when we went up, and I said, and since I've been off the council, I said, how many blacks do we have on the, uh, Mr. Newman? I said, how many blacks do we have on the fire department? He said, you want me to be honest with you, councilman? I wasn't a the councilman then, you know, carrying that title. He said, you want me to be honest with you? I said, yeah. He said, do you want me to be honest with you? I said, yes. He says, well, me, you, and Tiger Wood accountable. That mean he only had one. He was the only <laughs> one on the fire department. I wasn't. The tiger was no fireman. Mm -hmm. So he said, you do, the, you do the math. Only count them. Me, you, and Tiger Wood. Now, which one? How many <laughs> do I have? You're down to nine. That just one, and then he got fired. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we are, uh, 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 if we don't take care of our own and do something, all I ask everybody to do, if we lose all those seats up there on the council, we got a hell of a problem going if you don't have a black person sitting there, two or three, that's going to really do something. Mm -hmm. You know, not just sit up there for the prestige of being a councilman, don't know nothing about a councilman. You take Jesse Lee, uh, just, uh, and any one of them that's running other than Kim Lee Wormsley, who know anything about a council? Nobody. They never served. They won't be there. Mm -hmm. But don't you have to start somewhere? Where, do we, yeah. where would they start if they wanted to? Well, they just might not be. You're dealing with millions of people's lives, and you're dealing mm -hmm. with a billion, with a, a, a two, three billion dollar budget. Now, what you think about that? Mm -hmm. And you're going to give that to a, nun, a man that's never been uh, 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 um, in any, any capacity of a, a councilman or something like that. And you want to say, well, how did they get started? A, 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 um, a carpenter, he, he has a hammer. He know what to do with it, right? Mm -hmm. Give it to somebody that don't even know how to hold a hammer. What would they do? Couldn't even put a nail in. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing. And then the next thing that I would say to everybody Google Ralph White. Mm -hmm. Google uh, Wormsley. Try not to Google, to Google uh, uh, Jason Lee because you'll be embarrassed. You can <laughs> see it, okay? And if that's uh, that, we become the locking, a uh, laughing stock of, uh, matter of fact, almost of the world when we, if we elect him because his little TV thing is everywhere and the nasty things that he said on that thing is unbelievable. So now, if you think I'm lying, mm -hmm. when this we off this show, Google uh, Jason Lee and I know unlock. he does. Huh? Mm -hmm. I know he does. I watch it. You don't think that that is embarrassing to have somebody sitting up on the council like that? I feel like that's the new day and age, though. Because look at Trump. He's but Trump, he says a few things, but he don't do it every day like that, okay? Right. I mean, he ain't just every day saying this stuff. He ain't mm -hmm. never talked about Martin Luther King. You mm -hmm. look at some of that there, where Jason Lee talking about Martin Luther King. What did he say about Martin Luther King? Oh, I'll show it to you in a minute on my telephone. You're going to be shocked. Okay, you're okay. gonna be shocked when we get off the telephone. I'm gonna show you mm -hmm. Martin Luther King on his birthday. Yeah, on Monday. Yep. It's on his birthday. I, I I saw it on his birthday. Let's say I don't know when he said it, but I saw it on his birthday. Mm -hmm. Okay, because they were talking about he was at the auditorium about some singing. And I, oh well, yeah. And so I looked at that. Mm -hmm. You know, you know what the word is on that singer too. I mean, it's you. You take a whole lot of that stuff, mm -hmm. and you would be amazed. And if you put somebody in there representing us and make us stupid, make us look bad, extremely bad. So we have to have some morals and some respect for our people than to go up there and make a laugh and stop. How did y'all elect somebody that dumb? Because he spent, he got some white folks to put a million up, uh, almost uh, four or $500,000 for him to run. Was oh. it white people? <laughs> he ain't got no money. He had 14 organizations that went bankrupt on all 14 of them, non-profit. Mm. But when it Ask me to show them to you, and I'll show them to you. You know, I know my, I do my homework. Mm -hmm. 14 non-profit organizations. What Jesse Lee is running because the policemen don't like your city manager. Mm -hmm. There's other people that don't like your city manager. Mm -hmm. You know, a black person in that high position, you ain't ready for it. And he runs everything in the city. Councilmen don't run nothing. They just make decisions on his recommendation. But the city manager can say, this department, no, this department, no. And they don't like that. They want to raise... You can't get by him because he know what's going on. Mm -hmm. The other ones you could get by. You take a bunch of dumb people sitting up on the council. How, they believe anything you say. 
Mm -hmm. So you can't have that going up there. So my thing is, it's embarrassing. I don't care who you can elect uh, 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 Kimberly back to the council. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't bother me a little bit. You can elect that other lady up there that's running that don't know too much. You can invite that Indian that don't know nothing about the council. Elect them. But don't put somebody up there that's going to represent me with a background like you have and say it's a new age and you sitting up there talking about uh, 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 how many men you've been with and you sitting up there talking about your boyfriend is a crip. Mm -hmm. That's embarrassing. You can't do that. What you going to tell the bloods if they come up to the council? But wouldn't we rather know the truth than to find out the truth through um, it being someone else saying it about him? We already know that when we look at his, at his uh, uh, history, uh, look at when you Google him on radio, even your kid's five years old. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you can take your phone and give it to your baby, and she all know a lot how to work it a little bit. Yeah, no, okay, both now, my kids know how to work my phone. Okay, then how old mm -hmm. is the oldest one? The oldest one is turning seven in two weeks. If you Google something and see something on there like that, like, uh-uh. Oh, she gets it taken away. Yep. She knows better not to look so yeah, stuff but like how that. How do you know when you're in the bathroom? Are you down here I right leave my now, door open. And you ain't there. But why when, you're, when you're not there and you're right here or something, when you're going away from home. Oh, or when she, she, some of them take their phone. Five, six, seven, eight-year-old kids, they can Google anything they no. want to on that telephone. Some of them do. Yeah, but no, not, they know kids, better than to do my it. My kids don't, are, don't have phones yet. They, no. but She'll I mean, get a flip phone not, before. A whole lot of them do, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on, I'm running out with a little bitty kids. I'm not scared of like them seeing Jason Lee. I'm more scared of them seeing like the violence. But but if they see that type of stuff mm -hmm. and, and, and hear him talking like that, you don't talk like that. Mm -hmm. All right? So the violence, how can you be scared of violence or worry about the violence when you got a man saying his, his boyfriend is a, is a crip? I, that, have I, that's I don't know. What, I don't know. Well, yeah, but I don't know. If he said it or not, right? I don't know what the crip does. I don't know. <laughs> That's one of your <laughs> notorious games is Crips and Bloods. I know. But one like, don't like the other. One don't like fight. the other. And they be killing each other like crazy. Mm. I don't know that. I would break it up. You would break it up? Oh, yes, I would. I, I don't even know they each one of them Stockton know. had Crips and Bloods. I thought it was Northaniels and... As the, okay, so, so now what happened to the Crips and Bloods in Stockton? I don't know. Watch some of them that get killed and ask them. You were going to call the police tomorrow and ask them how many Crips got killed last year mm -hmm. and how many Bloods got killed but in Stockton. Isn't the isn't the biggest gang that's more majority of the problem? Isn't it not Crips and Bloods? No, there's no other gang. There's no between black people. Yes. Or other. What about yes, other races? I'm not races? worried about other races. That's their problem. But see, but, uh, but, a Mexican, I can't speak Spanish, so I can't get off into them. But I hate to see them get into it because Mexicans is fifty percent black. And fifty percent Aztec Indian. Mm -hmm. Get off this phone. Go look at it. When we get off of this, go look up Aztec Indian. Oh no! I, I went to the. I went to the. Um, I went down there and looked at the pyramids. Well, that came to Mexico. Okay, that's what you know. Why you you say something about Mexico? Because mm -hmm. when you came from Africa, you got to come through Mexico. Africa used to hook up. If you watch your look at your map and see that where Af where you see uh, Brazil going in there. All the Africans lived on this side and on this side. And they used to could swim across and that type of stuff. I was in Africa. I don't know all this from one of the historians over there. No, and then it moved over for millions of years. All these people in Brazil was all black. No, they, they still see, are black. Up, but then <laughs> well, they, they're not black. Then they moved they're on down to, Mexico, down to to Salvador, El Salvador, and all those mm -hmm. these places. We got in the Mexican. Oh, a Mexicans is not black. Aztec Indian and black. Talk to any Mexican mm -hmm. uh, late or that's Spaniard. Over, or any of them that's over. No, they're not Spaniards. Spanish. Some of them are conquistadors. Oh, well, that's because some of us are mixed with everything. Yeah. All right? In America, what do we have? A melting pot. Mm hmm You know, so you don't... What color is love? Um, red. Love don't have no color. <laughs> okay? So you don't do that. Love don't have no color. I tell somebody red. that in a minute, hey, you don't love me. No, 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 no. I ain't down that stuff there because love has no color. I'm saying red because of a heart. That's what I'm hmm? red. I said red because of my heart. heart. <laughs> <laughs> and you ain't never I'm... seen your heart, but you know, no. <laughs> because they painted it that way. Yeah. But, and I was born on Valentine's Day. But anyway. Oh, happy birthday, because that's Th like in a couple weeks. That's Thank what, you. My, my, my daddy used to tell my mother, and I was little, I didn't understand. Mm -hmm. uh, what you going to give me for for for, uh, for <laughs> Valentine's Day? He said, there he is right there, Ralph. <laughs> uh, I got you some. <laughs> you love him, don't you? <laughs> She's not that ain't fair. My daughter's but on the 20th. It. Uh, um, Her birthday's on the 20th. No, congratulations. She's an Aquarius. Mm -hmm. She'd be a smart lady. She is smart. She's uh, really smart. Do you know who else? 
Abraham Lincoln is February the 12th. Mm. And his top advisor was who? Frederick Douglas. Mm -hmm. His is the 14th. I did a whole thing. I should have known that. I did a whole, uh, what is it, essay on Frederick But Douglas. anyway, I would say it's easy to say, but you don't want to put a bunch of people in charge of something that don't know what they're doing and mm -hmm. never done it before. And coming in with one reason, there's five of them that's running right now, and each one of them has been contacted. There's a lot of money been put in their campaign to get rid of black. And what did the black do to anybody? I don't know what he did. I didn't hear anything. He just didn't give them their raises like they want. Oh, I just and didn't I, hear anything until this. Mm, I didn't hear anything about black until two months ago, maybe well, November. And what have he done? I don't know. A smart black man. He's one of the smartest one of the smartest city managers. What hasn't he done? Maybe that's what it is. It have done a whole lot. Mm -hmm. He didn't give Jason uh, Jason Lee them that $2 million he was hunting for. Mm -hmm. And if you do a background check on him, you'll find out 14 organizations, and all of them, he didn't got money from different people. You know an organization, you get it under this name, this name, this name, and when you get enough money and something go wrong and you lose, all you do is you lose money. You can't sue them because mm -hmm. they're not, not in existence anymore to get out of them. And out of that 14, if you ever talk to Jason, you live again, ask him how many of them are still functioning right now. Except the one right now, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I'm ready, what, to rip off another <laughs> company, rip off somebody else for their money, rip off Stockton again? Like I said, how long have you been in Stockton? How are you going to be on the council when you've only been back in two years? I mean, two months. Mm -hmm. And you never served on any board like that. You never, you flew on the airplane in mm -hmm. the back seat, but you've never been in the cockpit. So you can't fly me nowhere. So mm -hmm. It's the same thing here. You're dealing with millions of dollars, and you don't even know a budget. You never had a big budget they can handle like well, that. Well, doesn't his business, Hollywood Unlocked, isn't that count as a business? You see that lady you got on in your phone? Ask her how much money do she Ask how much money is he worth, and ask her how much money does he have in that in that Hollywood Unlocked. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen? You've seen the movie. Have you ever seen any commercials? I see movies, yeah, commercials. I mean, on, on Hollywood Unlocked. No, it? I see it every day though on but my you phone. Don't, but you don't see no 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 commercial. I see it every day on my phone though. But what takes what takes you to, to make if you're making money, mm -hmm. you got to make money somewhere out for something. I see him putting out commercials on his. What is it called? Not commercials. What is it called? Well, he don't call no commercials. He don't have no commercials on him. You know, ads. I see ads. Which one? No, he sells ads. He don't have no ads. No, he sells ads on his Hollywood Unlocked. So people buy those no, ads. No, they don't. You don't see that like you see Pepsi Cola and Dr. Pepper and all those. I see it more. When they send that on. on uh, what it's on called? Instagram. On Instagram. Well, mm -hmm. um, that's not a regular television show. Mm -mm. Instagram's got their own. They make money off of you. Mm -hmm. So whatever you got going on, they'll put it on there for free. Mm -hmm. But they're the one that's making the money, not you. Mm -hmm. You just happy to be out there and have your name out there. Mm -hmm. Talking about suing uh, Beyonce and all that type of stuff, and I mean that's that's degrading. He said he was going to sue Beyonce. You got your telephone. Ask about <laughs> look, look at him. See, I'm telling you right. I now, think that was a joke though, because I did hear that. All right. <laughs> See what I'm saying? I think it was a joke though. No, what no joke? It's the real thing. Why would he sue Beyonce? Because she when he said he, he bought forty thousand dollars worth of tickets and oh, yeah, no, she he wouldn't was joking. invite him to this and that. No, he was stuff. joking. No, he wasn't either. You better look at that. He's I dead serious on that. I think he was joking. No, well, uh, stop thinking. When you look at okay. it yourself and see it, and then you see, and I'm just wondering, you know, why JC and you know, you don't be talking about my wife like that. You can talk about me. You might get away with it. That's how. What is that? Will Smith. Will Smith. Slap was his name for talking about his wife. That was horrible. I didn't. I, you don't need to get into that. It wasn't, it wasn't horrible. <laughs> yeah, it was. Talk about my wife. I slept. It's a joke. Myself. It wasn't no joke. <laughs> about you, her hair? You, you don't talk about her. You don't know how that woman be crying at home at night. Talk about me. But don't talk about my wife. That Or uh, uh, my children. That's hands off. He didn't, on. like, call her ugly or anything. He was hmm? literally talking about the girl being bald on the thing <laughs> and that she being think, bald. Do you think she feel good about that? If she got some kind of disease well, or then something, if she got cancer or something. She had she alopecia. But, like, why okay. she brung it up about, um, he, he, she... Bring it up about Tupac. So he, she put Tupac's business out there. But, but I, I understand what you're saying. If Tupac's mother and that he was. Shit, but <laughs> I'm, I, you know, she did that at that time. But what I'm saying here is that I got my wife sitting there, or my kids there. That's ta that's taboo. Stay off of that. Mm -hmm. Talk about me. 
You understand? You can even talk about my brother, but don't talk about my don't talk about my wife and don't talk about my mama. Those are fighting words. And so I'll tell you what, I bet you he'll never do it again. He'll no, never he say won't. nothing else about nobody else's <laughs> wife. <laughs> okay, let's do the l- one last question okay. before we get out of here, and then you can tell us where to find you at and all that. Okay. Um, the last question is, Jason Lee keeps bringing up a debate. Would you debate? He says no one wants to be- debate him. Would you debate I him? I think if you look on your phone where I send him a message, and mm-hmm. he, but he told me that when he called. I said, look, I will debate Jason Lee six days a week and three times on Sunday. Let him set it up. He don't want to debate me. Mm-hmm. I got 61 years in, in, in politics, and I bet I've debated I don't know how many times. That boy ain't never debated no time. What did what, what he ever ran for that mm-hmm. he had to do a debate? I don't know. If you want uh, a debate about them little young young kids that he took overseas and thing that he'd be taking off over on planes and stuff. What? I got you better hurry up and read it. Where? Boy, well, he been taking them little boys overseas. Oh, now it's in the, it, I got a little thing. Uh, and, uh, I got a lot of little stuff. If you want to see it, I'll give you a copy of it. I'm telling you, you'll be shocked. Mm-hmm. And when you look at that stuff and what people done said about him, it's unbelievable. Then mm-hmm. you'd be sent, oh my God, I better back off of this. I, I was believing it. I will debate anybody. There's not one person up there that know more about this city than me. Mm-hmm. And I would debate any. I don't know nothing about little boys under 16, 15, 16 years old in, in those islands and things. I don't know nothing about that. I don't know nothing about gay people over in, in uh, um, uh, uh, Dubu- Dubai. But mm-hmm. he was talking about that on one of his programs and all that kind of stuff. You get arrested if you even go over there and you talk about it and that type of stuff. But come on now. I can't talk that. I can't debate that. Mm-hmm. And anything homosexual. I can't debate it because I've never been one. I've never even been around them. Mm-hmm. All right? But if you want to talk about the council, about the government, federal or state, I'll discuss it with you and I'll debate you with it. Jason Lee don't want to debate me. Mm-hmm. Sit it up and see if you'll come on, sit right over here and talk okay. to me with debate.